filling that area, um, filling back in the borrow pit and bringing that area up to grade. Um, right now we're looking at putting the diverging diamond into its pattern um, right around the first week of June, like we've been saying. Um, Prince is uh, on track, on schedule, looking pretty good. Teens are out there on University Parkway right now, they're just closed. Um, so in that overnight operation, we'll close the interchange just like we've done a, a dozen times before in the past. We'll divert traffic to Fruitville to the south and State Road 70 to the north. Um, and then in an overnight operation, we'll put the diverging diamond pattern into its, in its um, full capacity with the exception of one lane in each direction. Underneath the bridge, um, we'll keep one lane closed in each direction to facilitate the construction of the pedestrian walkway. And that's for the safety of the traveling public as well as our, our workers out there. We'll have uh, signalization work that night. We'll have a lot of paving and striping going on. Um, additional signage will be going in. So we'll try and make it as easy as possible when people get up, hopefully on a Sunday morning, to come out here to use the interchange. Uh, we're considering having some police assistance as well, just to have some reassurance to the motoring public that they're going to be okay and to know what they're going to do. But there'll be plenty, plenty of signage and striping out there.